In this video, we're going to create a query in Google Sheets where the criteria is a range list of values. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. To the left here, I have a data set of monthly sales for different sales reps. Over to the right, I have the criteria range list of all of the sales reps that I want to return in my query. And in the middle here, I have the actual query that is dependent on these criteria values here in this range. So if I want to see additional sales reps, all I need to do is simply type their name here and they automatically appear in this query output. So before we jump into this, what I want to show you is how you would create this query, how you would set it up if you were querying on a list of values in a column the manual way, because I think it will help you see what we need to do to get it set up based on a range. So I'm going to input the query as normal. We're going to go select our data set that we want to query off of and then we're going to key in our select statement so I want to pull back both columns so I'm going to say select star and then for our criteria we use the keyword where reference our criteria column and since we have a list of values we're going to use the keyword matches here and since we're dealing with a text column it needs to be enclosed in single quotes so our first value, we'll just go with the values here, Cindy, and each individual value when we have a list along with the keywords matches needs to be separated by a vertical bar. So we have our list, Cindy, Amy, and Wes. And don't forget to close that out with a single quote and then we end our select statement with a double quote. And then the final input is the number of headers we have in our data set. That is one. So that returns each value in our list. But we want this more dynamic where it just feeds off of this range here. So what we need to do is use the join function because it allows you to join a range of values based on a delimiter that you specify. So here what we need to do is delete this out. We're gonna temporarily come outside of our select statement. So before we come outside of it though we need to have a single quote for the begin of our list because it still needs to be enclosed in single quotes. So then we close out our double quote. We're going to use the and symbol to link this to the join function. And the join function has really two inputs that we need here. So the first one is the delimiter, which we know already is going to be a vertical bar. So in double quotes, going to list a vertical bar and then the second input we need for the join is actually our range. So for now I'm just going to select this range here and leave some blank cells so if we want to add new values later we can. And then we need to use another AND symbol to join this join function back to our select statement. So we reopen our double quote and immediately after that we have to have a single quote because this list here that is the output of the join needs to be enclosed in single quotes. So that is everything we need so we close out our double quote for the entire select statement and that should be that and you can see it returns all of those values the same as if we did it manually and since we left some additional cells down here I can add other reps. Now 
if we want to make this a two-dimensional array, what we could do is nest this range within the flatten function because the join function can only handle like a single column or a single row at a time. So if we wanted to change this to include column J, you can see we get this red underline saying the query doesn't like this. So what we can do is nest this within the flatten function and this will convert that range to a single array. So now I'll hit enter and we can add values over here. Let's see, we'll just add David, Jeff, and that is that. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.